one of the most sought after prospects in the country and one of the most highly rated up and coming youngsters in the country. He's come to the biggest club in South London. That's gonna rattle a few feathers, isn't it? I'm the sort of player to take on my man, express myself, create chances for the team, get goals and assists. There was a lot of clubs interested, um, but I chose Charlton because it's close to home, the fans are really good. Um, have a big history and yeah, it gives you a platform for young players to express themselves. The style of play here really suits me as a player, you know, the manager likes to play up from the back, likes to play through the thirds, which is really suitable for me because I like to be on the ball all the time as much as I can, so I'm really excited. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Addicts Editions. It's been a while, it's been a little while since we have completed a sign and yesterday we managed to bring in our seventh signing of the transfer window and like I said in the intro, it's one of the most sought after prospects in the country right now. We beat a lot of clubs to his signature and I am very happy that we've managed to get him through the door. Charlton Athletic have completed the signing of Crystal Palace winger Jessarun Raksaki. The 19-year-old joins SE7 on a season-long loan from Palace, beating over a dozen clubs, it was rumoured, for the signature of Raksaki. And yeah... Like I said, very happy, very, very happy we've got this one through the door. We've spoken about him a few times on the League One transfer room roundup. We've spoken how the likes of MK Dons have been interested. Then we entered the frame. We apparently were interested. I didn't really know whether to believe that rumour. But, but look at it now. We have managed to get Jez into the club. Or should I say Stephen Sessignon? A very uh, laughable situation that happened yesterday when Raksaki was announced. I don't know if you saw it. I'll put it on the screen now because it's been changed, uh, thank God. But yeah, the club actually announced it. So Saying we've signed Raksaki, but in the graphic, you know, when it says the welcome um, and in the player's name at the bottom, it said Stephen Sessignon on the bottom. And I said, I must admit, I was looking forward to uh, seeing that left hand side combination of Stephen Sessignon and Stephen Sessignon. Uh, the club obviously fixed it now and they started hiding replies uh, to people calling it out, which I thought was a little bit, yeah, I've felt one way about it because it is just banter at the end of the day. I didn't really see. Uh, the need for that extreme reaction. But anyway, I'm just hoping that this kid lives up to the hype because there is a lot of hype about him and I'm really looking forward to see what he can do in a Charlton shirt. So you guys know the drill by now. We will jump into the club's articles. Charlton Athletic are delighted to confirm the signing of forward Jessarun Raksaki on a season-long loan from Crystal Palace. The exciting 19-year-old made two Premier League appearances last season and has been capped by England's under-20s, scoring on his debut in December 2021. Raksaki arrives in SE7 on the back of an impressive 2021-22 Premier League 2 campaign, finishing as the division's joint top scorer of 18 goals and registering six assists. He becomes Charlton's seventh signing of the summer following the arrivals of Owen O'Connell, Mandela Egbo, Joe Walcott, Conor McGrendles, Stephen Sessignon and Jack Payne. Raksaki, who has drawn interest from a number of clubs across the EFL, explained he was excited to join the Addicts. He said, it feels really good to be a Charlton player. I was waiting a long time for this and I'm just thankful to God and thankful to everyone for making it happen. I'm excited to get started. There was a lot of clubs interested, but I chose Charlton because it's close to home. The fans are really good. The club has a big history and it gives a platform for young players to express themselves. Mate, he knows. Rack Saki knows. That's all I'm saying. Charlton manager Ben Garner is looking forward to working with the forward. Jez is an exciting addition to the squad. He is a talented player who adds to the creativity and attacking threat that we have. We are very much looking forward to working with him and hopefully he can have a big impact this season. Owner and CEO Thomas Sangod said, Jessarun is a talented player with a lot of skill and pace. He contributes goals and assists. So I'm looking forward to watching him play in our system. Born in Southwark, Raksaki came through the youth system at Chelsea before joining Crystal Palace in 2019. He made his Premier League debut in the opening game of the 2021-22 season against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge and earned his first Premier League start against Manchester United in May. I believe that was the final game of the season. The forward also scored and provided an assist in two Papa John's Trophy games last season. Raksaki, who trained with his teammates for the first time at Sparrows Lane on Thursday, will wear the Addicts number 17 shirt. So there is the club's article about the signing of Jessarun Raksaki. Now we'll get into my thoughts about the signing. And 
yeah, as I said, I am very happy. I felt that in the wide areas, it was a position that we needed. Maybe not as more as other positions, shall we say. I felt that left back, centre back and striker, or still field, should I say, uh, those three positions are probably more of a priority than out wide. But I did still think we needed a bit more depth in that area. We do have three players currently in that position, obviously two uh, naturally left-sided players, if you will, with Corey Blackett-Taylor and Charlie Kirk, and one naturally right-sided winger in Dialang Jaisimi. So I felt that we needed a bit more cover on the right-hand side. Obviously, Blackett-Taylor, I think, could easily fit in on the right-hand side, and maybe even Kirk as well. I felt we needed that depth, obviously, with our club and how injuries obviously seem to play a factor in our season every year. So it is handy to have that depth, and I think Raksaki will provide that in abundance. Now, I do believe I believe he is naturally a right winger, although is left footed, so he probably falls into the category of, uh, I know Jamie Boxall said it yesterday or this morning in his video, he's a bit of a uh, inverted winger, he likes to cut inside on his left foot. I think he's quite versatile as well, I think apparently he can play through the middle from what I've seen and he can also play out left, so basically anywhere uh, in a front three, so I think he will fit uh, ben Garner's system and of course adds a lot of pace and skill and trickery to our side. Obviously, he's just come off the back of a stupid season at academy level. 18 goals and 6 assists in 25 games. I think it was about time that Raksaki made the move to the EFL and got some regular professional minutes. And realistically, this is his first proper test of professional football, I'm going to say. Yes, obviously, he's played twice at Premier League level and he's played Papa John's Trophy games. But this is where he's going to get... I hope so anyway, regular minutes. Obviously, like I said, there were a number of clubs that were interested in Raksaki's uh, signature. Steve Gallen actually said in his interview yesterday that there were a number of championship sides that were interested. I believe Birmingham were interested and then some some of the bigger clubs in League One. I think Derby were linked. Uh, NK Dons were previously, but I think that sort of collapsed. Uh, I think Oxford were mentioned at one point as well. I, I think it was over a dozen clubs were interested in Raksaki. So the fact that we were able to pull him in I think it's impressive, we have to say. Obviously, he did say in the article, you know, it is closer to home. So, obviously, he doesn't have to relocate that far. While I will say it is an exciting signing, it is a very exciting signing. You know, the season he's just come off. There's a lot of hype about him. Obviously, he's just signed a new long-term contract to Crystal Palace until 2027. So, they clearly rate the lad and they obviously uh, are sticking by him. They, they want to have faith in him. And, obviously, they're sending him to us to further his development and get himself some professional minutes under his belt. I do have concerns with this signing, and I think the main one is game time. Is Raksaki actually going to get game time? Obviously, I've seen Crystal Palace, you know, they've jumped on the bandwagon on Twitter, obviously, to hype him up. And some have obviously wished him well and have said it's a good move for both parties. And then you've got the typical, uh, predictable, obviously, Palace uh, giving it the big, you know, all Charlton know their place. And obviously, we're loaning, we're loaning one of their players, how far they've fallen and stuff like that. Raksaki's going to be their best player when, realistically, I'm going to say it straight away, Raksaki isn't our best player coming into the season. Yes, obviously, he's come off the back of a very good season at academy level, but he's not our best winger. And realistically, Kirk and CBT start over him at the moment in this team. I think gradually, Raksaki will be worked into the team, or I hope so for his case anyway. But I think at the moment, Raksaki will be more of a depth addition to the side. But I do have concerns when it comes to game time. I don't know how many games he's actually going to play, if he's going to play any. You know, we don't want another Noel John situation from last season, for example. A player that's supposed to be really highly rated coming in from a, a Premier League side in Tottenham. And he doesn't play whatsoever. So I'm hoping we're not going to have another situation like that. Another worry that I have is whether this opens the door for one of our wingers to leave the club. I'm looking more specifically at Charlie Kirk. I think he's probably the most likely to leave out of anybody else in that position. Obviously, he has been linked with clubs previously in the likes of Reading, Blackpool and Hibernian. Uh, maybe could open the door for Jai Simi. I think I'd like to see him leave over Kirk, but I'm not too sure. And obviously CBT, we've got to keep him at all costs realistically. So there are worries. I'm hoping that Ghana can utilise him because I definitely think there's a player there and I think he is going to add something. He's going to add some trickery, some pace. And I think he could be a danger at this level if he is utilised well and how Ghana chooses to utilise him. I think that this is his level. Obviously, there were championship interests, but I think that League One is a good start. And I would like to think that Cholton is a good, good start. And if he is given game time and if he is played to his strengths, I think he could tear this league apart. And I think he really could be one of the more shining lights in this league and one of the more threatening players, threatening young players in this division. So we'll have to wait and see with this one. I do have my concerns, but I am very happy with this sign. And I think he adds depth. He'll add something to this team, some creativity, some technicality, some pace, some skill, some trickery. And yeah, like I said, one of the most sought after prospects. We'll just have to wait and see, man. We will just have to wait and see. 
So that is it for this episode of Addicts Editions. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, can you possibly leave a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you are notified of every time I upload a new video. Welcome to Charlton Athletic, just Sarun Raksaki. I hope you like it here. I hope you're settling well at SE7. What do you guys think about the signing of Raksaki? Let me know in the comments below. This has been Tyler Ronitson. Have a nice day and I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy, stay safe, and I will see you all then.